today's card of the day is deadly cover-up three and a black and a black for sorcery with as additional cost to cast a spell you may collect evidence six also has destroy all creatures if evidence was collected exile all card from the opponent's graveyard then search its owner's graveyard hand and library for a number of cards exiled this way then that player shuffles then draws a card for each card exiled this way from, from their hand so I think generally in a six card format, this is like pretty solid black card. I think in general, white gets the best sort of board wipes, but this is coming really close to that. And that it's a five mana board wipe, which I think is on par to like one of being one of the better black board wipes that's like outside of damnation that just like straight up destroys all creatures. Um, but also having the added benefit of doing other stuff. So it could be very well to like a, um, maybe like three or four plus for one which is like really strong i think in comparison you look at other black board wipes that are at the same cost you think you have things like um star of extinction not star of extinction um extinction event i think it was called which is exile but only exile is odd mana or, or even mana but then you get like the minus minus x minus x cards those also are pretty you know determines on what the card says right like it's not uh just destroy all creatures right there's generally some value that may or may not hit everything on the board um but then after that you've got things like meat hook massacre which still like you gotta put a lot into the x if you want to destroy everything but this is just straight up three mana or five mana destroy all creatures and the cool thing about this is actually if you do collect evidence that is you i guess i think you have to exile a six mana value plus card from a graveyard or at least up to six mana value i forget exactly the word text for it is but you can just exile a straight up playset of a particular card from their deck. Now it does sort of require you to, um, them to have a card like that being used because it has to be in their graveyard. But even then, like if that hoop is jumped through, it handled that one thing once, then if you deadly cover it up, you just fix the whole issue right then and there, right? Like you kill one of their shieldreds and you use deadly cover up, you exile the shieldred, then you exile all the shieldreds from their deck, not to play against it again which is pretty dope. I am curious though, like, if you do use Deadly Cover-Up, I don't know, it's a cast, I was thinking like, can you destroy everything and then use the evidence, but it's like additional cost on the cast, so a little rough in that sense, but I think it's a really strong card. Well, I don't think it's too strong in regards to Commander. I think for 60 card formats, it's like pretty valid. I think five mana is pretty achievable. Uh, which is kind of funny too because like you see these eternal formats and they're like yeah you gotta play everything super fast everything's super you know um it's about speed which you know it is a lot of times in tempo but like a lot of these older formats are still playing like those long games um so it makes you wonder like and, and not only that but like the new cards that are coming out are often like put into those formats still so it's like are those older formats really that fast or it's just like the cards that are strong and even when the cards are strong it's like they keep printing new cards into those formats so it's like just cards are cards, right? Like, in context of whatever environment they are, um, they're pretty strong. And so it's all that to say that, like, this card is, I think, in context of standard or six card format, I think it's really, really valid because it can just be a lot for one, right? This is this is one of those super value cards that I can see just blowing up a deck single-handedly. Like, imagine, like, getting Tron off of this, right? But I guess Tron doesn't have a creature, so I'd play against it. Probably one of them, like, older formats, maybe at most, just to try it, but... Five mana is still a lot in like modern and stuff like that. So probably just standard card. And seeing that standard is now, I think three years? Like I think we just recently, if not already, or maybe not, um, got rid of like um, the Wandering Emperor. Just imagine this there for a long time. Uh, wow, that's pretty wild. But this is also like really similar to um, that one card in standard, The End. But unfortunately, the end exiles already. It's kind of crazy how black gets these effects. I think these effects are really undervalued. I feel like you can get away with having some sort of mill deck that's just like removal of that deck, but also just like sort of pseudo wins just by milling opponents out, <laughs> just because they don't have less, they don't have enough cards in their library because you exiled them all from like other peripheral effects, which is kind of funny too. Because I, I feel like that's that's the same vibe I get when I see people play like devious cover up tribal or just like they counter your stuff and then they recycle all their counter spells into their library i don't know does that does that make sense like at this point if we get enough a high high count of cards that do these things 
you just end up milling people um, by interacting with them, which is, I think, funny. That's kind of interesting. Anyways, what do you guys think about this in the comments below? Let me know. I'm interested in seeing if this is a use case outside of, like, probably standard, but who knows?